As an artist, LaKaley47 is always challenging her fans to look and listen deeper than what's on the surface. The rapper's third studio album, Shape Up, marks the completion of her beauty series trilogy. It's a testament to what it means to genuinely step into your own. NPR Music linked up with 47 to break down the messages in the album, how her relationship with beauty has changed, and why this ending feels like a new beginning. I'm Sydney Madden, NPR Music reporter and co-host of Louder Than a Riot podcast. What's up, LaKaylee? Hey, what's going on, Sydney? <laughs> Thank you so much for linking up with us and talking about this album. This is one of the best albums we've dropped this year, and I don't care how early in the calendar year it is to say it, I'm putting it out now. Ah, uh, thank you so like, uh, you got me all flustered saying that. <laughs> like, thank you so much. I was a labor of love. Thank you. Yeah, I worked hard on it. So I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that, Sydney girl. So this album is four years in the making. I mean, minimum four years from the last time we got an album from you mm-hmm. with acrylic. Yeah. But before we get into the nitty gritty of Shape Up, we got to go back a little bit. Okay. So Wash and Set yes. came out in 2017. Yes. Acrylic was your follow-up in 2018. Yes. And then between Acrylic and now, we have four years to get to Shape Up. Yeah. And it's the completion of your beauty series trilogy. It is the period, the (laughs) exclamation point. It's the dot. It's, yeah, it's it. It's amazing. Yeah, thank you so much. I had a lot of fun uh, over the years, you know, creating it and telling my story. Um, So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Uh, if it was up to me, it probably would have came out 2019. Mm. <laughs> like, really? Yeah. Um, but you know, uh, we had a whole pandemic. Uh, yeah. Life, life, life. Life was life. Life was real hard. Lifing. And- but you know, despite, no, no, in spite of how I feel, um, and you know, when I wanted it to, uh, release, I feel like the timing of it coming now couldn't be more perfect. Could not be more perfect. And that's why as artists, a lot of time, we got to get out of our own way. And we have to learn how to listen inside. You, you know, you really have to, especially when um, creating your art. You know, like as artists, we get selfish. We get a little, we, we, we look, we look crazy. Sensitive. <laughs> we yeah. look sensitive. You know, we get a little, it's, it's all of the above with us. But um, as I stated, yeah, um, I'm, I'm super glad that, uh, this was the time that uh, it was chosen to be released. Um, I'm excited. As you stated, it was a long time coming. Um, I've, it's a project that I've been working on uh, over time, over the years. Um, that's just my work ethic. I'm always working. I'm always telling some sort of story. I'm always just just reaching and aiming for it. You know, like that's how I express myself, you know, especially being a loner. You know, who else I'm going to talk to? <laughs> this microphone. So, so, yeah, it's been pretty cool. Um, just creating it and um, putting it together, obsessing over it. Uh, re- Rearranging. Se- yeah, just the sequence. I got like, I have like 500 sequences. I have probably more ver- shape up versions. Like, there's other versions. It's that. Mm-hmm. But, um, but in regards to the story, that is what never changed. Yeah. You know? Well, tell us about the story. I oh, know it's yeah. a whole beauty trilogy. So what yeah. is the beauty trilogy story and how does Shape Up really put that exclamation point on it? Yeah. So um, as you stated, with well, Washington said, um, that was my debut. And um, as a young woman entering into this entertainment field, I was excited. I was ready. Well, what I thought, I, I thought I was ready. I was ready somewhat, but I had a lot of growing to do. And during that era, that's exactly what I was doing. And that's what I wanted to invite you guys into. It was an invite to my new growth, wash and set. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and it was also a story of not looking like what I was going through. As most of us do, you know, when we enter into these beauty, you know, these beauty spaces, these safe spaces, as we like to call them, these self-care spaces, you know, whether it's your barbershop, your nail salon, no matter what, you know, like you walk into there and um, you don't know what he, she, whatever is going through as they, as they, you know, as they come in and as they leave. But the one thing that you do know 
is they know they don't look like it. They're you know? transformed. They, they don't, they, they, you have, you know, you have no, no clue, no clue. So, um, in a way it was a call to actually, um, turn to your neighbor, look deeper, you know, like, you know, just, just care just a little more, just, just a little more, you know, um, and again, um, but it, it can also, it also plays as, you know, on the positive, you know, I speak about not uh, looking like what you're going through. Um, it, I, I want all people to also not look at what you're going through because even in that moment, it's not what it looks like. You're there for about five seconds. You're gonna bounce up out of that and you're gonna come out of that stronger. And you will be what you look like. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, it was all about the new growth and all of that and transitioning it to acrylic. Um, I wanted to celebrate where I come from. You know, as a black woman, as a black girl, um, I'm from some, I come from a place that some people may not think is the best or the most pleasant or whatever, but um or think of as beautiful. Absolutely right. But uh these are the places that that grew your Tupacs. These are your places that grew your My Angelus, you know, your Nikki Giovanni's, your Jay Z's, you know, and um your Lakeleys. And though hard, yes, but it was needed, you know? For me, you know, um, in hindsight, I thank God for every hard time, hardship, how, you know, whatever anybody, how, whatever you want to call it, um, because it grew me. Um, it made me stronger. It made me resilient. Like, I could run through fire, you know. Right now, today, I could run through fire because I allowed myself to live in myself, live in my thing, live in my now, and celebrate where it is that I come from. So I just wanted to... I wanted to create this magical album about these beautiful places. So that's why you hear me talking. You know, I, I, I take you from 85 mm -hmm. all the way up north to the A train. <laughs> Started with the skits and everything. Yes. And, you know, so that was my way of saying, okay, the girl that you just met, so this is what made the girl. This is where I'm from. Come on in, have some fun, get a drink, get to know that oh, that's my cousin over there. That's Auntie Liz over there, you know, like it's all of that. And um and with acrylic, I have this saying where um you know where you are when you smell acrylic. And that and, and that was big for me. That was a that was a big statement for my project. Because when you smell acrylic, and you know, you know where you are, you're in my hood. <laughs> You're not smelling acrylic. No disrespect. I love me some Beverly Hills, honey. You can just listen. I'm a fab girl. But um, you know where you are when you smell out acrylic. You know, you know what you know what space you're in. You 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 understand that there's some there's a different level of survival here. There's a different level of genius that resides in these tall buildings. What are these tall buildings here? Like, you know what I mean? And presentation, yeah. and representation. Yeah. It's all of that. So um, it's one of my favorite albums. It is my favorite album. I hate to say it. I mean, I'm not going to say I hate to say that. Sometimes I feel bad saying that because it's like they're all your babies. Babies, but a Well, how does Shape yeah. Up build on it? Ooh, now nah, Shape Up is the one that came and said, you know that girl that you said you was and that you thought you was? Nah, you really her now. You know what I mean? Like, Shape Up is a, uh, it's the confidence that I've been praying for. It's not easy. It, and it's not even about this business. It's just about life in general. It's not easy, you know, just, and especially doing that through a pandemic, you know, l just trying to maintain, just trying to find that thing you can just, Hold it, don't let go. Mm. And that was shape up for me. Like, you know, like like my mask, it became a best friend. I lived with it for four, <laughs> you know what I mean? These past years and we've tugged, we pulled, we we you whatever, but it was a confident pull. It was a different sort of pull from the wash and set and the acrylic eras. It was a it was a oh no, you know, like I really, really stood on minds with this. Um and I wanted to come hard. And so I did. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted 
much, you know, like I wanted to walk in my fierceness. I wanted to be bold, you know. Um, I go out on these stages and I perform these songs and I preach this stuff and, you know, like, and, and I want that and it's real and it's true. But there was a part of me that was going home that was missing that. The very thing that I was putting on everybody else and telling everybody else to do, I didn't have it. I had I didn't have it. And um it's scary saying that out loud, but um, you know, that's honest, you know. I mean now that you're on the other side Absolutely. of it, you can identify that. Yeah. Right? yeah. You know, like I didn't fake it till I made it. I I I I I toughed it out till I made it. I lived it till I made it. Like I really I did what I had to do for what I wanted. So if acrylic was you walking into the salon, being wel welcomed into a safe space, does Shape Up feel like you're walking out of the salon brand new? I'm brand new. Yeah. I'm that, Fully and, and, formed. Yeah. And hence the closure. I'm leaving the shop. <laughs> you know, I, 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 have, I have just what I want. I have the part that I need. I have the, you know, I have the roller set. And I have all of it. Like... So, you know, and, and I'm proud of that. I'm proud that I did the work myself, you know, like this music and these projects, this beauty trilogy was my, it was my personal therapy. You know, I know it sounds cliche because a lot of us say, but it really was. Like it really genuinely was. And I've come to, I don't know, like I've just been hitting a lot of revelations lately. Like, you know, like instantly too. Like, I'm like, wait, I just... Oh, hmm. you know, just a lot of discovery. Like I'm still discovering things about myself and through this very album. And that's what makes it fun. That's what makes it beautiful. And I'm excited for people to hear it. I'm excited for people to hear the growth. I pray that those who have been following me, you know, thus far that they can hear it, you know, because I do it for them. I do it for, you know, I do it for us. I do it for my people, for everyone. And so I really, I want to make, people proud. I love how you always juxtapose the outward presentation of us as, as Black women, as Black people, but also connect it with internal work, mm -hmm. intrinsic work. That was a very big through line with, with some of the, the skits and some of the stories on acrylic. Like, what would you say is the main through line story carrying us through Shape Up? To genuinely, like genuinely, you know, because we hear this, and again, another cliche saying, right? But to genuinely own who you are. You know, genuinely own that. Genuinely want to do that work. Genuinely want to look inside. Genuinely care about that heart. Don't just, don't say it. Don't just talk about it. Don't just, like, genuinely, like, want to do it. Want, like, want to be a part of yourself. Mm. Want to love you. Like, want to care about yourself. Not because want, you think you're supposed to. Uh, genuinely get down in there and sit with yourself. Like, your dreams, your hopes, the new house, what color is the door? Is it two stories? You know, like genuinely get down in there. I'm talking about every part of your wants, from the heart wants, from the physical wants, to it's just all of it. That's what I want people to take. Like, that's the vibe. Like, that's that line. Like, I want when you hear this music to genuinely, genuinely feel. Like, I, I don't know if that is the correct answer. I don't know if I answered it right. And I really don't even care. <laughs> but I do care that People genuinely, and I keep saying genuine, genuine, genuinely, like, look that word up, guys. Like, look up the definition of genuine and then go do the work, you know, like genuinely. Like, know what you want for yourself. Love, work, personal space. Know what you will and won't tolerate and stand on that. Genu like, you know, I feel like when you genuinely stand on your thing, like people have no, like even if it's the no, you know, like mm -hmm. even if it's not the answer they want to hear, they could walk away and say, you know what? Huh. Okay. All right. All right. You know, 
You know, and 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 what that does to the other person now, it makes them want to go genuinely dive yeah. in. It's just like, wait, well, hold on, <laughs> that was a little different. <laughs> Let me shake that off. But I learned something. I felt something there. You know, there's a lot of things that cause us to look outside. You know, and I really pray that this album forces people to do the gene, you know, like really sit with themselves, you know, and, and and not saying that this is one of those super deep albums in that way, but there are moments, you know, there are feelings, you know, that I put on there that I'm praying that people feel and, and that they will get and it'll jump on them and it'll make them, oh, wait, a, you know, make them feel something and then go in to come out, you know, so I don't know. That's 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 the thing. I want. That's the takeaway. That's the that's the through line. That's I, you know, that's my through line for me. Like that's what I want for the people. I love it. Yeah. Going back to having whole stories and verses and personifying a lot of different people. One of the singles leading up to the release of the album is Zoom. Yes. I mean, I love how much real life it, it bleeds. It's and it's like you don't sugarcoat too. Like same thing with uh. Uh, bitch, I'm the man. Yeah. Jaywalk, those confidence boosts. Yeah, the nods to ball culture. Yeah, and you know the LGBTQIA yeah. community, which you've always supported. Yeah, without without ballroom, without uh, without the support of the LGBTQ plus community, um, I'm I'm not sending this chair, and that's just a fact. Like, don't care what anyone says. I have support from everyone all over the world, but when I tell you. The community within the LGBTQ plus, it is like, it's so overwhelming. It's so like, you know, and especially um, like a man or a female, you know, <laughs> like, and um, here it is. I'm making this music. I'm having fun. I'm chilling. And you mean to tell me y'all like this? <laughs> you mean to tell me like, you know, but. It's also a testament to, you know, the way I grew up. I grew up around so many beautiful individuals. Like, ballroom culture is nothing new to me. You know, um, my neighbors, you know, like, I grew up in a projects, different projects, plenty of, you know, like, just different areas, different, different places of the world. And I love... My women, my black women, white women, all women. But I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you. I have learned so much about myself and my womanhood from gay men. And I'm, and I'm so serious. I'm so serious. Drag performers. Again, just the LT, LGBTQ plus community, period. Um, and again, it's just like thinking about it and, and, and talking about it. Like, I get overwhelmed. I really, really do. I get completely and utterly, I just get overwhelmed because I don't know. They don't have, you don't have to. Um, and, I'm, and I'm trying to be careful with the way I, I talk now because even with talking about the community, it's like I know we we this is how we do it or whatever, but my people are people. <laughs> my people are people. <laughs> enough is enough. I I I I get I get it. I I get it. I get how you have to identify things, and I get it. But we're talking about human beings mm. that just love human beings. Let's stop it right there. Mm. Let's stop it right there, and you know that go through the things that. The things that the community goes through, you know, as an ally sitting next to that and sitting close to that, um, it's hurtful. That's why I get, to, you know, it's hurtful. Because those are my best friends. They're pressing play. They're buying my tickets. Yes. <laughs> They're showing up for you. Oh, my God. They're oh my showing God. up. And, and, and I have no place in music. I don't have a place in hip hop. I said it. <laughs> I don't have a place in hip hop without the LGBTQ plus community. I don't. I do not. I prayed for a space, you know, 
that they could hear, they could know and feel just how much I love them. Yeah. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love, 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 love my friends. Love my community. I'm so grateful to be accepted. Um, I'm going to continue to fight with them, stand by them, walk, you know, just the whole shebang. Like, I'm here for the 3 a.m. calls, just as I am for the 3 p.m.s. I'm here for the marches. I'm here for what's right. Like, I'm here for, yeah, I'm, I'm here for the side of right. Um, and, and I mean, you're paying them back with the anthem. Listen. With the advocacy. Listen. Like, you're such a community gatherer. Just in I your try. nature, you know, <laughs> like whether it's the subject matter of getting getting a shape up and what uh -huh. that means to confidence boost or getting your walk right or giving them the soundtrack to uh, live their lives like you're paying them back with it. Yeah, it's crazy because you're saying I'm paying them back, but that community is pay like what they've given me is priceless, It's priceless. Like I'm just getting up and I'm just hitting sounds like. I'm being who I am. You know, there's there's no purposeful intent to go in and say, yeah, I'm going to do this for a ballroom or whatever. Like, it's just there, mm -hmm. you know? I have those days and I have those moments, but for the most part, no. Like, what I do and, and my music, I'm just free. And only free individuals. I, You know, they, the free individuals, they're the first ones to identify with that. Hence the reason why. They are the reason why I'm here. We're talking about a, a different level of confidence. It's, 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 a, it's a, a different level of poise, a different je ne sais quoi. It's a different, you know what I mean? And I learned that from that community, period. There's clearly so much outpouring of love yeah. all, all over, all over mm -hmm. this album. Um, um, in Jaywalk, in BITM. A lot of those. And then one of the songs that really struck me, and because it's so sparse and uh, subtle compared to the other songs on the album, it really stood out to me, was Hold My Hand. Mm, you about to make me cry again. What is um, this? <laughs> but it's a beautiful, a beautiful song. Thank and you. I mean, even the, the second verse, when we're talking about a big storm coming and... I'm, I'm going to paraphrase you so horribly, mm -hmm. but there's nothing you can do to stop the storm. You guarantee it. So you just have to let the storm wash over you and wait for the sun. Like, what does this mean? What was the process of making that song? And what was the message behind it? It's a letter to God letting him know that I can face anything with him. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what that is. That storm is life. That is life, life in. And that is me reminding myself and reminding the listener that you will get through this. You know, it is not, like how we spoke earlier, it is not what it looks like right now in this moment. Like, this too shall pass. But most importantly, you know, whatever your, you know, I know for me, it's God. Whatever your thing is, whatever gets you to that, to the other side. Whatever helps you during your journey, that's what's holding your hand. And as long as you have that hold, you know, as long as you have that right by your side, what can't you do? Like, you can do it all. So I feel like for me, it was with every album, I, I, I need to get closer to God. That's just for me, you know. Um, no matter what it sounds like, no matter the words, the rhetoric, the jar, no matter what, it's, I, it's that. A piece of me just got closer through wash and set. A piece of me got closer through acrylic and with shape up. It was all and nothing. I I, I had to, I, I I had to, that was that was probably the most vulnerable I've ever been on a record, you know, like, because again, it was just, I just wanted to give a sweet thank you to God. I did. I just wanted to say thank you. You know, for all that I've, all that you've taken me through, all that I've been through, and for me to look up and be here, you know, in this studio, recording my third album with people that I love. And not only am I doing that, I'm doing that, I'm walking in this thing boldly. You know, I'm walking in this thing just 
with a little more huh, on me, you know? Sure. Yeah. And it's just like, and I have you to thank for that because not one time did I look by my side and you weren't there. So I had to do that. So that's hold my hand. I love it. Yeah. I love it. So you got community <laughs> praise, you got mm -hmm. praise for God, and then mm -hmm. you also have some really great storytelling, great influences in there, but very um, strategic and biting like commentary. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about in the song, there's there's little crumbs all throughout it, but in the mm -hmm. song New Money, you're like, how many times can we applaud the same Let's routine? Let's talk about it. <laughs> like, people want to know my regime because I'm doing something different. Yeah. So what inspired those lines in New Money? So what are the same routines we're always applauding and how are you breaking out of them? Um. Well, as far as me, I've always, like, I, I never had a problem. I've always, I, I don't, oh, we know. yeah. I don't have, I, I never had a problem with marching to the beat of my own drum. I've never had a problem with being me. But there was a point where I didn't feel like I belonged, you know? I didn't feel like I belonged. It's just like, hmm. Belong where? In this business, you know, in this town, as they would call it or whatever, you know? And, um. In hip hop at all? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, where's, do I have a place here? Am I too left? Am I too right? Am I too, too? Like, you know, what am I, you know? And, um. I had to get out of that and I had to shake that, you know? I really, really had to shake that because if you stay in that headspace, then how can you create? Like, how can I live in the now? So, you know, yeah, I, I just had to get up out of that and 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 continue to fight in, in for my place in this music business and hip hop and pop and, 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 and all of the above and this genre bending era that we're in or whatever. Um, and that's pretty much those lines, like what those lines represent. It's just like, hey guys, um, I asked you nice on wash and set. You know what I mean? Like, hey guys, like <laughs> I was pretty cool with y'all on acrylic, but um, I'm about to just, I don't care who on the stage, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. Like it's, it's that, it's just like, you know, and it's also a call for, you know, the industry to start listening to the people more. People want different, you know, and not different for the sake of being different. You know, like we want that, but there's stuff over here too. And it's just like, if you could only just mix this up together and oh, what a world and oh, what a business and oh, what a, you know, like it'll be amazing. What song did you impress yourself most with on this album? Carry In. Mm -hmm. Okay, why? Because it's everything that we're talking about. You know, it's a lot of what we're talking about. You know, just walking into your thing, you know, especially being a woman and me being, a, you know, us being black women walking in this thing. It's just like, you know, you already come in with a, you know, it's already a, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So it's just like. That you have to work against. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I definitely say Carrie Ann. Cause I was tired. I was tired. I was <laughs> I was just tired. I was tired of the standards. I was tired of the norms. I was tired of the same conversations. I was tired of the same pay. I was tired of the same festival. I was tired, 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 tired. Yeah. Can you tell me, what, <laughs> is the morning you woke up and you were like, nah, I'm tired, I'm over it. Was that the same time writing came in? Can you tell me the story of how it came to be? Yeah, absolutely. And when I say tired, you know, I don't, I, you know, this is a powerful tired. This ain't that drained, I'm tired. This ain't that nasty, I'm tired. This is that, no, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. So what are we talking about? Like, you know, and yeah, it was that. It was, it was, it was, it, it was all in that moment, you know? And and I wanted to be, once I heard the beat, and when I heard the sample, it was like, okay. As you hear in the classic sample, it's this month. I could do what I want. Uh, I'm a big girl now, and that's exactly what it's called. It, 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 it was a call to step into my womanhood. It was Put a, you on notice. Yeah, it was like, okay. And that's what I mean by tired. It's just like, okay, this is a call to action. It's time to say some things. It's time to stand up for what you want. It's time to say what you mean and, and to mean what you say. It's, it's time. And that's what Carrie Ann is for me, you know, like. I wanted to be, 
I know I I did know that I wanted that to be a, one of the fiercest deliveries. I, I I wanted to be fierce in my delivery. I wanted to be, you know, I, I wanted to have a level of mystique. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to do that creep up. Yeah, you know, I I I wanted this crescendo of things. Da, 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 da. I wanted this build. I wanted this. I wanted this slight fall, but then I wanted to go back up, and you know, and I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about some things, you know. Like I talk about it, you know, and it's, and and you know, we just talked about, you know, just being a woman and in a man's world, and Carrie Ann is a lot of that. I'm um, Carrie Ann. I'm I'm demanding that you pay me like you pay him. You gonna <laughs> because I know because I know, <laughs> and because we need this change, you know, and because women are, you know, this is this is this is not what we are talking, you know, this is not what we fighting for, this is not what we want. So it's just like, okay, let me just add on to the conversation, but not just add on to the conversation. Let me know, let me let my girls know that I said what I had to say and I got what I wanted. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got what I wanted and I'm getting what I want. And the things that are coming to me that I don't want, I say no to. And I say no with love and I say no with you in mind. Because how else are we going to, how we, it's about the result. 2022 beyond, let's go for the result. Longevity. Let's go for the result. Like, let's go for it. Like, I'm not about to sit up here and whine about what you're not giving me. If you're not giving it to me, I'm going to go get it myself. And then eventually you're going to want to play. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then when you come around and you want to play, you got to play on our terms. Well, on your new album cover for Shape Up, you're showing a different part of your face. But we're seeing a new side to you, a new era. Yeah. yeah. So does Shape Up feel like yeah. an ending of? No. This mask is not going anywhere. It's my best friend. Like I said, um, it's my best friend. Um, I love the fact that I am heard um, before I'm seen. I do. Um, I love the fact that this mask allows people to genuinely li like live with my sound, live with who I am, you know, bef and not at, at no point is anyone caring about how she looks, what a complexion is, what a body type is, what is this, what is that, like, you know, there's absolutely no judgment in sound. I mean, it can be. But when it's good, what can you say? You know, so I, yeah, this I uh I, I love it. I love it. I love it. You know what I mean? I, I get a little uh hey, it's my best friend, you know, like I'm naturally an introverted and shy person, um, but with it, um I get to be a little more bright. I get to be a little more open. I get to, you know, I get to be the person that sometimes I want to be, you know, like, so, um, no, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> I know that, you know, the cover, um, I made that decision, uh, hmm. I don't know. I just wanted to show a little growth, you know? I wanted to show some growth. A different angle but at a different angle. <laughs> but nah, I wanted to I wanted to display growth. Um I wanted to have fun, you know, with my cover in a different way. I knew that by not having the mask on, that question, you know, like it's like, wait, hold on, is she cut wait a minute here? Right. Um you know, so a part of me was kind of against it, you know, it, like I had, you know, I didn't want to because I knew that, you know, I didn't want to, I don't know, I just didn't want to do that to people. I didn't want to say, oh, you know, whatever. But um, no, nah, it's not coming off. Mm -hmm. It ain't coming off. It's never going away. It's here to stay. And when you put it on, like I've, I've, you said, I've heard you say the superhero thing, but you've also said a couple of times that you feel like you get to be villainous. You get to take on a new persona, right? Yeah. So what is... What does the mask help you tap into? Do you feel like more yourself with the mask? Yes. What does it propel you to do? Yeah, you absolutely hit the nail on the head. Because even, you know, like when we talked about Shape Up and how I, you know, with Shape Up, I'm, I'm finally at that confident space. On my journey to that, 
the only time I was really, really, really confident was when I was in my max, when I was on that stage, you know? And, you know, I, I came to that realization today, honestly. It's just like, wow, like, that's crazy. You know, like, outside of that mask, I had a lot of work to do. But for some reason, the mask goes on, get out the way. <laughs> you know, she's fierce, she's bold, she's that girl, you know? She's confident on that stage. On yeah, like she's gone. Like she's zooming, you know? She is so like, everybody wants to be her. Like she's just, she oozes this, this it's a confidence. Like, it's just like, how do you, ooh, you know? Like, you know what I mean? Like, ooh. <laughs> and so, um, so yeah, in uh, that mass, wash and set, acrylic, Confident outside of that mask, not so much. Mm. So where you at with Shape Up now? I'm all the way there. You all the way I'm there, here. with and without. With and without. Like I'm here. I've arrived. Like it's it's nothing anyone can tell me. I can't. Like you can't get me to shake. I, I it's, you can't get me to move. I'm like I'm I'm solid. Mm. Like I'm. Like, I'm so solid. I'm so sure. I'm so like, what's up? Like, it's so, what's, what are we doing? <laughs> you know? A yeah, and I'm glad you said that because that's exactly what it feels like. What a feeling, you know? Because, um, you know, you see people with it, you know, you see it on people and you just, you want it. You're just like, what is that? And like I said, you know, I had it the, the whole time. I just didn't know I had it. That's why I had to sit down and go inside out. And then once you know I went, and that's not what it looks oh, like. Oh, look at this. This is the dopest. This is the dopest. <laughs> hey. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's not what it looks like. And it's just like, I hope that even with this interview and just, you know, just us talking about like, people will see like the human side of it. It's just like, yeah, I'm the artist. I actually made it. But look, I'm going through the same thing you're going through. We the same exact person. It's just like I'm no I'm no better than you. Like I'm going through my things and I'm going through life and I'm going through my challenges trying to figure it out just like you. The difference is I had to do it in front of you, your sister, <laughs> your mom, a few more people and whatever. And I'm praying to, you know, to continue to get it right in front of the whole world cuz I want to be loved. I do. I want to be loved cuz I love people. So, you know, I want to I want to be I want to be big. Beauty Trilogy is coming to an end, and you've spent so much time loving, championing, luxuriating in, in beauty and upkeep and the way that beauty creates community, the way that community inspires beauty, while ironically uh, concealing your own beauty, because I know you're beautiful. Uh, who do you feel this trilogy is for, other than yourself and your own intrinsic work? Who do you feel like you're giving this to? Everyone, mainly my dreamers, but not just any dreamer. You know, the, the, the dreamers that dream with purpose. For some of us, it takes us some time to get there. You know, I, I've learned that. Like I'm one who, I don't know why, but I knew what I was supposed to be doing instantly. As a child, I knew instantly, like three, two, one. <laughs> you know, I knew. You could not tell me that I wasn't going to be doing this. I knew from kindergarten that I was going to be doing this. I knew that I had a God-given purpose to create music, to be here. I knew it. And so when you have that early, you tend to think everybody has it. You don't know what you want to do? What did you talk about? Like, you know, like you, 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 you know, and as you grow, you, you realize, wait, like everyone does have it, but everyone also has a different path to get to it, you know? And so this, this project, it's for those that are on their path to their purpose, you know, their true purpose, whatever that thing is, you know, whatever the dream is, like this trilogy, you know, this beauty series, this beauty trilogy, it's for the unsure, 
It's for the confident. It's for the lazy. Ah, oh, it's really for the lazy. It's crazy. As much as it's for the go-getter, it's really for the lazy. How come? Oh, God. You cannot hear new money and not want no money. <laughs> you can't hear money and not want money. And when I speak money, I'm not speaking currency. I'm speaking life. You, Because here's the thing. When, you, when you're living in that thing and when you're life in, money going to come. All of the, 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 the Nike's going to come. The, every, all of that is going to come. You have to walk in the thing. And you have to be patient with your path in getting to the thing. So when you hear money or new money, please don't think that it's about money. It's about getting up at 6 a.m. It's about a no. It's about... Not getting the gig, but still pushing forward. It's about the work. And that's why I say it's really for the lazy. It's, it's really a call to action. You know, it's a call to get up. It's a call to shake it off. It's a call to, you can do it. I know you're sitting on your hands. I know you are. And I know you think that you don't have any opportunity. I know you do. I know you're faced with what you're faced with. I know it. I see it. I get it. But... What did we say? What's what's been the running theme of this whole thing? It's not what it looks like. <laughs> it's not. It's not what it looks like. It's the thing that you, it's right there. It's right there. If you just believe, if you just re, like, I'm talking about is as easy as it is to think negative about yourself. As easy as it is to just go the other way. It's even easier to think that you to know you can. To I'm talking about feel it. I'm so sorry, but it's just like, ugh, like feel it. Like, go after it. I'm someone who went after it with nothing. And again, I got the story early. I thank God for it. I don't know why, you know. I, I, you know, He said, yep, that's what you're going to do. I don't know why. All I know is I had to listen, you know, and that's what I did. You're talking about a shy kid that didn't talk when she was a kid, you know, barely. Like, if she talked, she talked to people that she was comfortable with. You really think that that girl is going to be able to? Go in front of the world and say, no, no. <laughs> so that's why I say it's a call. It, it, it's for the dreamers. It's for the, you know, it's, it's for the, it's for the sure. It's for the unsure. It's for the, it's, it's for all of you, but mainly for those that are, are trying to find their thing. You know, even if you're trying to find your thing, sitting on your hands, you're being a little lazy, huh? you don't have to stay there. It's not what it looked like. Get up. Go get that money. Get up at six. Read those books. Meditate. Pray. Reverse your thinking. The same way you thought that you couldn't is the same way you, you know you can. All right. Well, that's a wrap. Look, Haley 47, thank you so much for sharing this album with us and going real deep on the songs and the meanings and the inspiration. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Cindy Madden. We out. Go. Yo, you got it.